Hey guys, Yulia here. So I wanted to show you this Hello Boris that I bought in a grocery store right before Christmas. And you will start seeing these plants more often, both in grocery stores and local garden centers. But I uh, got some questions about what to do with these plants once you bring them home. And it's a good question because they look like house plants. Um, they're in pots, they look very pretty, but they really are not meant to be house plants. And Helleborus in general are very hardy plants. Some of the species are hardy to zone three. So there are really two situations once you bring these plants home, and it depends on your climate and your garden zone. The way you're going to treat these plants will depend on whether you live in zone six and colder or if you live in zone seven and warmer. And the reason I picked that cutoff point is because in zone six, winters tend to be very cold and frosty and snowy. And starting in zone seven, winters tend to be milder. If you live in a zone six and colder, you can bring these plants inside the house. You can enjoy them for a couple of weeks to a month. Make sure you keep them away from any radiators or fireplaces. And after that period of time, you really should find a spot in your house that these plants prefer. And what they prefer is cooler temperature, bright location, and higher humidity. I don't know if you can tell, there's a little smoke coming from the side. That's the humidifier that I keep on for my plants in this room. So um, after I'm done enjoying my Helleborus in the house, I put them in the foyer in front of our house. Um, the temperature there is about 50 degrees. And I would say that's pretty perfect for these plants. And it's also uh, has a lot of windows, so it's quite bright. Now, if you don't have a foyer or maybe like a little greenhouse outside, you can find an unheated room in your house maybe, um, open the window, like crack a window open a little bit, or an unheated garage. If you have a window there, you can place these plants on the windowsill to make sure that they receive enough light. So all you're trying to do is um, making sure that they overwinter until you can plant them outside in the spring. And the moment your ground thaws, you can plant these plants outside. But before you do that, you have to acclimate them to the outside or harden them off, like we harden off little seedlings. Um, and the way I do it, I usually place the plant outside for a couple of hours a day, and then I put it back inside, place it outside, and so on and so forth. And then uh, in a few days, it will be acclimated to brighter light and to the temperatures outside, and they can be planted outside. If you live in a zone seven and warmer, you can again enjoy these plants inside the house for a couple of weeks to a month, and then you can plant them outside because your winters are much milder than the zone six and colder. But again, you have to acclimate these plants to the outdoors um, by bringing them out for a couple of hours every day and uh, making sure that they're used to brighter light and the temperatures outside. And then you can go ahead and plant them outside, but make sure that you mulch them a little bit extra in case any colder weather comes. Um, sometimes if your weather is really cold, they will droop a little bit. And that is perfectly normal. My Helleborus do that outside in the winter and um, that is not a problem. And this is pretty much all the instructions on uh, how to keep your Helleborus alive until you can plant it outside. Um, overall, Helleborus are very low maintenance plants. I have a lot of them outside and I'm building up my collection. I have them in a shady location. Um, they do prefer somewhat humusy soil, but they're also very successful growing in dry shade. Um, there are so many different species and uh, cultivars of Helleborus. This particular one is called Helleborus niger, and this is the first, the earliest blooming Helleborus out of them all. They truly bloom in December and hence are called Christmas rose. Anyway, thank you so much, you guys, for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, guys, Yulia here. No. I don't know how to say it. It's just...
doesn't come out right. That is not a word. Is this even a word? I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. <laughs> to a month, and they, if you live in a zin, 